month after Mayor John Whitmire announced a historic deal with Houston firefighters. Today, city council members said they still have not seen a key part of the agreement. Yeah, this is a, the deal moves forward. Victor Jacobo at City Hall today hearing council members concerns and Victor, the mayor proudly talked about getting this deal done, but it's not quite a done deal, is it? Yeah, that is right, Len and Mia. Still a long way to go. Council members still have to give the final say, but right now they're just trying to get a clearer picture about this agreement and its potential impact on the city and taxpayers, but they say time to do that is running out. We have to be able to recruit and retain firefighters, and we cannot do that under the current scheme. The president of the Houston Professional Mayor Firefighters Mayor Association Mayor. highlighting the importance of this settlement today as council received an update on the deal. This is uh, by far uh, the best interest of, it's a good deal in, of the taxpayers and the firefighters. We can close this and we can move forward, uh, and we're uh, very excited to be down here and, and discussing. But council members say they're still uncertain about what the final project will be and its potential impact on the city's budget. That's because it doesn't just include hundreds of millions of dollars in back pay. It also covers a new collective bargaining agreement that would be in effect for the next five years. It's very difficult for us to be asking questions when we have not seen a draft of the CBA in its current form. Uh, so all of this is still speculation or going off of what we've heard or seen in uh, circulating draft copies. Council with pointed questions about the CBA including provisions that would eliminate random drug testing for firefighters. One topic that comes up that people are generally shocked about is the random drug testing, the elimination of it. Union President Marty Lincoln says the agreement keeps drug testing, but he says it will make it more efficient and cost effective. It doesn't benefit the city financially to do what it's doing. Streamlining the process, it's not a uh, elimination of anything. Uh, it is uh, intended to say, how can we focus on this best use of it? That way the city's not incurring overtime cost uh, every single day and holding people over. Now, if the deal does ultimately move forward, the collective bargaining agreement is set to go into effect on July 1st. Putting live at City Hall, Victor Hakobo, KHOU, 11 News.